So after I learned um, about Joe McCray, his contribution to the poem, and then Moina Michaels, seldom you hear her passion for this country, her love for this country, I realized how important what she did was to not only wear the poppy as a remembrance for those who made such sacrifices, but also an income for the veterans who came back, who many of them did not have jobs. Some of them came with physical difficulties and by being able to not only create these flowers, but also by selling them, it gave an income to them. And it made them feel good. Also, in a way, it was like a physical therapy because those that had issues with their hands, they were able to use those hands. And, um, and it was a way of physical uh, therapy. So going to the beginning, um, I became more and more sure that I wanted to be involved in something that will make a difference, even if it was a small difference, and that is to honor those that died and honor those who are alive by bringing money and being able to uh, use that money to help the veterans and also the families. And in Lexington, we have Post 3007, who has given me the okay to for the flower that I created, which is different from the others. And that flower also has the 375 names of each of the soldiers that have participated. Lexington was extremely generous and kind and understanding of what the value of freedom is. And uh, when the population was less than 6,000 individuals, there were 373 individuals that came to a country that they were not familiar with in conditions that they never even thought of. Out of those 373 individuals, there were nine women who participated. There were three clergymen from different churches, and there was one physician. So if you purchase one of these uh, puppies, the remembrance puppy, the bu not the body puppy, because in order to call it a body puppy, um, you have to be a veteran of war award, and they have the right to do that. Um, mine doesn't have a name except it's a remembrance. It, it, it remembers those who have died uh, and those who have participated in Lexington. Um, the monies will go directly to them. And the other uh, project that I came up with is to uh, celebrate with wreaths. But these are different wreaths. Um, they are wreaths that are everlasting. They are painted on an indoor-outdoor uh, plywood. They are treated in the proper way that they can be exposed outside. But if you are not interested uh, Memorial Day or Veterans Day to do that, then you can have them uh, at home. They all are signed by each of the artists. There are eight ar artists that are involved in this project. They are dated. Um, so those who uh, become the owners of these plaques, they will know exactly when they were designed. And also it has the name of the individual that they are honoring. And for that, um, we will have a silent auction for The them. first wreath is a 14-inch um, wooden wreath slash plaque, uh, which was designed by uh, Carol Camillo. And, um, and we call it the Remembrance Puppy. It is signed by Carol in the back, dated, and it honors as a memory of Ralph Coolidge. The second one is also 14 inch, and the artist is um, Mary McDonnell. And we call it in Flanders Field, it really interprets the poem quite beautifully. As you can see, it has a wonderful line of puppies and the field and the horizon. 
And uh, that honors Joseph Daly, who actually happens to have a nephew who still lives in Lexington. The third wreath is designed and created by Barbara Lucas. It's also 14 inch. It's called The Day After. You can see the sky is brighter. And she interprets the puppy beautifully by not only showing you the four petals, but also the capsules, which contain 60,000 seeds. And it's honoring uh, Stanley Hill, a highly decorated uh, soldier. Whenever you're ready. The fourth one is also 14 inch. Uh, the artist is Emily Passman. And um, as you can see the lines uh, of the stems, we call it the Poppy's Blow. And it's a memory of Samuel Lassoff. Um, these are four of the smaller wreaths. They are 12 inch. And the first one, the artist is Jean Hart. It's called the Poppy Wreath. And as you can see, the beautiful image of a wreath that she has created. It's signed and dated, and it honors Timothy McDonald. The second of the 12 is um, by Christina Burvell. It's called Spiral of Remembrance, and it honors William Martin. Third of the twelfth is by Lynn Jensen. It's called Poppies, and it's Memory of Aaron Reddy. The fourth one and last one is, a tw again, a 12-inch, is by Lydia Vukovic and it's a memory of John Love. And it's called Poppies Two. For the poppies, I have delegated um, them to friends. And my wish is that each community, each section of Lexington will be able to have someone that will be able to uh, own a poppy and a name of the individual that they're honoring. And so right now I have 10 friends who have accepted uh, and they're given 10 puppies in a package, um, but I need a few more. And uh, the suggested um, price is $5. So you will get this package that will have um, the puppy and, um, and the name and a little felt heart with a pin so you can pin it on uh, if you plan to wear it. And please do wear it on November 11th as a sign and a symbol that you are remembering those who have made serious sacrifices for freedom.